all right hey everyone welcome back to my channel salesforce makes sense this is himanshu and this is use case number seven of record triggered flows in the flow builder masterclass right if you have been following i have been posting quite regularly on the flow builder masterclass we started off understanding the basics some theoretical concepts we did some screen flow use cases and now we are on the seventh use case of record triggered flows right let's jump into the problem statement now when an opportunity is closed one send a chatter post congratulating the management group about the same right so what is the trigger object it is correct it is opportunity awesome what is the event which what field is the trigger point or the entry point it is the stage field and what should it be updated to it should be updated to the closed one status right or the or the stage and what do we want to do if all of this criteria matches we want to send out a chatter post now for those of you who do not know chatter chatter is more like a collaboration tool inside salesforce right if you for example let's say we are on our test sold op opportunity right if you notice chatter is available here this is for people to track audit and you know talk or you know collaborate with each other you can put a poll you can put a question you can put a post here right hi i am excited for this use case i can simply post it right so my post is live here and it is associated to a record also so you can do this on all the records like every different record and you can actually tag people and you can talk to them so i can use the add the rate keyword right so i can notify people you see i can say where are you on the integration status for the system i mean i'm just writing any any and everything and you can actually choose who to share this with right you can highlight things right you can italicize you can attach links you can put emojis and all of this can be done so it's more like a collaboration and communication tool right what do we want from our use cases whenever the opportunity is closed one we automatically want to send out a chatter post and we want to just give a congratulations message okay so let's go into salesforce and let's try to build this out so i'll say new flow it says something went wrong let's just get rid of this let's refresh looks like your internet connection is not here all right record triggered flow i'll say create now this time what is my op what is my object it is opportunity right and then i want to do it on whenever the record is updated same same old things in the previous use case we did the same thing and the stage name is changed and the stage name is closed one right we have won the opportunities where we want to congratulate the team so i'll simply say closed one and whenever this happens i don't want to do any fast field updates on the same object i rather want to create a new record of a chatter record right so i'll just say save i'll call this record triggered flow 7 congratulate post on chatter all right sounds sensible let's say save and we will not activate it yet now as soon as it enters here what do we want to do we want to simply post to chatter right so what's the keyword here you can simply type chatter and you'll find that there's an action that's available out of the box if you don't find it here you can simply search it like this you can go to actions and here on the category you might see it here or you can simply type, find this post to chatter here okay so you have that exact option available to post to chatter and when you choose that you say congratulate the team on the victory or rather on the sales revenue all right now it requests you for two important things first is what is the message that you want to put right you are congratulating so you need to provide a message chatter is all about posting similar to how you post on um, different social media channels facebook instagram right so what is the message that you want to give so that's the message that will go here so you can simply say hello world right you can put the message like this and then you need to put a target name or id now what resource or what record do you want to tag it to is what we want to assign here so the target is our opportunity record which has been closed once so i'll simply say record.id all right so these are the only two mandatory fields and then if you have this on a part uh, community portal or rather on an experience cloud you can involve you can you can mention what is the experience cloud side id okay that makes this particular chatter post and available for that experience cloud side okay whether you want to configure a visibility to all or none or something like that you can choose the visibility but we'll let it be as of now 
okay now instead of this particular message what i want to do here is i want to create a new resource okay and here we'll talk about what is a constant right we have created variables we have created formulas right we'll now create a constant so i'll just say congratulatory message that's the api name and i'll select a data type of text because i want to write some text right so i'll say this is huge congratulations on the big win all right so this becomes a constant more like a static variable which can be leveraged and used any way you want so you see now the api name has been tagged here as a merge field format and i can simply say done so that has created my action which is called post to chatter and this will only execute whenever the stage name is changed and it is equal to closed one let's give it a save and let's try to activate it activated all good let's go in here and now let's just move this to closed one let's say save and you'll notice that there's a message that has popped up automatically which is this is huge congratulations on the big win now why did this message show up on the opportunity is because i tagged the target record right and what was the message that i put in the constant variable has come here all right so that's that's a very basic kind of a functionality but we have been able to post to chatter from flows even even this can be done right and we have been able to do it just by point and click and just by you know adding one action all right now what do we want to learn apart from this in this particular use case let me show you here if i go to this particular record triggered flow i have an option to add a asynchronous path so that i can actually run something asynchronously now what is the advantage of doing something asynchronously you do not consume the synchronous governor limits right now i'm giving you the example here so that you learn something new in this particular use case ex except for posting to chatter which is pretty basic what i want you to understand is if there are scenarios wherein you do not want your data to be updated immediately or something that can be postponed to an asynchronous call what is an asynchronous call it is something that takes its own path more like a separate transaction is something that's asynchronous right it's not in sync with the current transaction that's why async async is nothing but a separate transaction altogether for whatever you want to do so let's say you want to do six things right so you do the first four things together and then you start off and you do the next remaining two things separately but together so you divide your work into two chunks first you work on the four items together and then you work on the other two items so the first four items and the other two items are asynchronous to each other right so what you are doing is you are doing them asynchronously but what about the first four things you are doing those four things synchronously make sense so in order to not consume your governor limits in projects where there's a lot of data where there's a lot of calculations where there is a lot of business processes running behind the scenes you might want to delegate something to the future right you might want to run something separately as part of another transaction or not consume your current uh, load right in such cases you can choose the asynchronous path and what we can very well do is just simply cut this element and we can post to chatter a bit later it's not like i immediately need it right so i can just move this to the asynchronous path right will something go wrong if i do it asynchronously no nothing will go wrong it's only that whenever the resources are available from salesforce the asynchronous path will run and it will also not tamper the current flow okay now if you see you'll be able to figure out okay there's no no difference in terms of what's being shown or what's happening there's no difference let me just delete this particular chatter post from here and now let's go ahead and move the status to something else and i'll just move the status back to closed one if you notice we don't have that particular message here right and there would be pretty much no difference in what you see i'll simply say closed one and i'll say save okay you see the message pops up as is similar to how we sh uh, saw this in the last scenario but this time your synchronous limits have not been impacted it has run asynchronously as a separate transaction and it has not consumed any of your governor limits so that's one advantage of where you would want to include a asynchronous path so that if you have to do something after the current transaction is completed or committed you can do that all right
so even that's a capability that Salesforce flow provides you all right great that was use case number seven and I forgot to wish you a happy new year on the previous use case because I posted that after the new year so I wish you guys a very good new year a prosperous one and I hope uh, your health is something that's um, uh, well and fine because apart from your health I'm sure everything else you'll be able to achieve all right so happy new year and a lot of use cases are coming your way a lot of tutorials are coming if there's anything specific that you want me to make create or configure for you just drop that comment on the comment section and I'll try to ensure that you know a tutorial is made out of it okay I hope the videos are helping I'll see you in the next one till then keep learning bye